Okay, so this right here is the model home for carefree homes and it is the Morocco floor plan which is the floor plan that you're asking about at 6552 Geyser. Okay, so here's the Morocco which again is at 6552 Geyser. Okay, but this is the model home that we're looking at. Now, the house on Geyser does not have those upgraded um, stone veneer that would be an upgrade, so you would pay extra for those stone veneer, okay? Let's take a look. Wow, beautiful little first living room here. Opens up, you got the arched doorways. And, okay, very good here. And of course here you got a couple of windows. With faux wood blinds. Oh, the, the upgraded. Two inch faux wood blinds. Right. Okay. Very good. And then you do get the control pad here for the security system. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's pre-wired. And then we'll step on into the kitchen area. Right off to our left hand side you do see a guest bathroom, the pedestal sink, top mount flush toilets. This is all ceramic tile here. And you do get a so Mike, is this the pantry or is no, this a that's linen? A, that's a linen. Oh wonderful. Yes, linen this closet. Has plenty of linen closets. Oh, five, wow, five shelves there. Good size. And you have the stairs going upstairs. This, I'm assuming, would be the garage? Yes, uh huh. And, and excuse the mess. The okay. superintendent has everything uh, in here. Okay. If you, if you see the, the walls, I want you to the see walls? the walls are not uh, complete. Okay. It's just the first layer. The first layer, okay. Yes. People see that. You have a little storage underneath the stairwell. Wow, so that's a separate closet storage for right. all the military gear. Right. You have your water heater Hot outside, water. which is great. Um, You've got okay. your timer for your for your front yard landscaping. Oh, for wonderful. For the drip system? Yes. Okay. So that is your timer for the drip system, and that will water all of the front yard plants. This builder will give you the front yard landscaping. And do we get the uh, garage door opener? Yes, with two remotes. Wonderful. Okay. Going back into the house, we have the kitchen. Now this home here does have the stainless steel appliances, which they will get. They will be able. Okay. To get. So yeah. since you're active duty military, we'll go ahead and get you the stainless steel appliances. Wow, you got some custom backsplash. Yeah, which is an upgrade. That's an upgrade. The glass on this. The glass. Oh, that's actually glass on that door. Very nice. Let's take a look inside. So you do have a light inside the pantry. Wonderful size pantry. Plenty of cabinet space. Now you have this island here in the middle, and it does have electricity. And then you have the second living room area. Now these are the two inch faux blinds that will come with the home. to the backyard so here is the backyard um, typically the home builders do not install any landscaping in the backyard so it will be just um, kind of like a blank okay but you can hire the um, landscaping contractors here 
to put some nice rock or a few trees, maybe some sod. And we'll go ahead and go upstairs. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen steps to the top, and right off to your left-hand side, you do have the master bedroom. You've got two raised windows, ceiling fan, carpet, Let's take a look at the master bath. Okay. This home here does have the stand up shower and separate garden tub. His and her sinks. You do have uh, granite countertops. The mirrors are framed, so you do have framed mirrors all the way around. Separate commode. It does have the exhaust fan. And you have this wonderful walk in closet. So, beginning on your right hand side, you have shelving and, of course, space to hang clothes. And it wraps all the way around. Very good sized closet. It's probably 10 by 10 or bigger. Here's the shower. Again, this is all ceramic tile, and then you have the glass backsplash inlay here. You have the soaker tub. These are kind of new and unique. Um, they have the place for the back support. You have brushed nickel faucets. And a wonderful view from the backyard. Okay. And continuing across, you see you do have an open uh, loft area. Uh, followed by a few more bedrooms, one, two, and three. Wonderful little gathering area for the family and for the kids to play. Then you have the first bedroom. Now this is the smallest of the bedrooms here. You can see it's set up as a nursery. And you do have the closet, double door closet. So you do have uh, three bedrooms, and then you have the uh, shared full size bathroom there for everybody up here. Here's another bedroom. That is a full size uh, bed. One of the unique ideas of this floor plan is that you have an upstairs laundry room, which is great, so you don't have to be hauling baskets of clothes up and down stairs. You have everything here. Here's where your uh, washing machine would sit. Underneath this basket is a drain that goes straight down and out the house in case there's any uh, spillage of the water or your washing machine fails. And then you have the connection here for your gas, uh, I'm sorry, electric, electric dryer here. And this is the exhaust tube that goes up and out of the house. Overhead shelf. You do have an exhaust fan in there, a light, and that would be your access panel to all of the HVAC. 
your equipment with this builder is protected because it's built into inside the home. So anytime you need to service anything, you would just go straight up through there. And it's, I believe, right, it sits right around this area here. It does also have a door so you can close it when you're doing laundry. Here's the bathroom. Again, it's a single sink with custom granite, undermounted sink, and nickel plated hardware. It's a full size bathroom with ceramic tile. And you have another bedroom here, and that is a twin size bed. Again, this wonderful little loft. And then we go into the final be bedroom. This is a, probably the, one of the better sized bedrooms here. These homes are very energy efficient because they do have several returns throughout the house. You can see this first return is the inlet and the outlet. And then this right here is your actual filter. Um, those filters are good to change maybe every 30 days, 45 days would be great. Okay, 